lot has been made in this campaign of the language that is used, the name calling that's been used, especially in the primary. As an 11 year old watching it, what, what's your reaction? I really think that listening to a few bad words coming out of Donald Trump is a lot better than people getting blown up by terrorists, people getting burned alive, people be, heads being chopped off, and people getting drowned. So Mary, to you as a mother, um, sitting in your seat, when you, I know you have two other children, you have two, two young girls as well. So does the rhetoric of this campaign on, on both sides does it bother you? Well, certainly as a mother, you don't like to, to hear some of these comments that are so somewhat bombastic and inflammatory. However, I think the tenor of the world right now uh, allows for those kind of feelings to be aired. And honestly, when it comes to confronting a terrorist, I would rather have Trump confronting him than, than, Hillary than uh, his opponent. So looking at you, you look like a future politician, if I can even say that, only because of your awesome tie and, and your button, my friend. But, but really, do you have an interest in politics as a future career? I've always had an interest in politics. I'm not really sure because uh, looking at all the insults flying around in politics, then I might... I don't know, but I think I might. It's a slim possibility. I'm going to go into lawyer um, to be a lawyer first and then see if that could be my future. And the first thing you would do when you sat down in the Oval Office, Matthew? <laughs> I don't know if I'd be into the Oval, Oval Office, but I would, right now or in the future? In the future. <laughs> I don't know what the issues are going to be in the future. A very political answer.